Hello everyone, so I'd like to help some of you uh, Steam Deck owners that are trying to get some PS3 games on the RPCS3 uh, on there installed and uh, kind of answer some questions. So obviously I'm going to go to uh, the desktop for now first. First thing I do uh, again, there's different methods, different ways of doing things. Um, you can download uh, ROMs on your own. I'm not going to tell you where to get them from. Um, but uh, just Google it. Google's your friend. You'll be able to find them. Now, it's important to note, even before you even start, figure out which PS3 games uh, work uh, with the RPCS3 and which don't. They have their own website. You can go on there and look at the compatibility list. If it says in-game, it won't work, right? doesn't matter if it's Steam Deck or lab or uh, laptop or your desktop. Uh, it won't work. Um, and then some of them that do say work, uh, some of them still don't work on the deck or some of them take some extra steps and requirements. Um so it's important to Google that game that you're looking for in particularly. Uh, secondly, once you have them, what I personally do is um, you could either download them from the Firefox uh, attachment uh, in your desktop or I download them on my own desktop and I have a non-formatted 128 gigabyte card that I put in the reader and uh, you know I download from the desktop into, into the SD card and then uh, put this SD card into into the deck and then I drag that file on the desktop um, and then I put in the formatted SD card so I keep uh, another this 128 gigabyte card just for transferring files again there's other ways to do that that's simpler this is just the way that i do it um, once you have the uh, rom on your desktop um, so first of all it's important to note even before then again there's two types of ps3 roms there's isos which are taken from the discs, right? And those are much simpler to put on to the RPCS3 on the Steam Deck. And then there's package files, PKG files. Um, so I'll just uh, open up here. And when you have the PKG files, some of them will say that you need additional files with that. There's two different ways to get them installed. So first of all, first step, find out if the game's compatible. Secondly, get your ROM, find it from somewhere. Third, get on your desktop. Now, personally, this is what I do, is I actually, uh, because I have so many PS3 games, they're taking up some space. I actually have a separate SD card that uh, I copied the RC, RPCS3 from Emudeck and put it in a separate folder uh, that is with the, um, with the ROMs, right? So once you do that, you're going to look for the rpcs3.sh file, um, and you're going to double click it. It's going to open up like a menu of, of games here. Now it's going to be empty when you ha first have it. So if you have an ISO file, it's going to, look like uh, like this here it's just a file folder um, get a close-up of that and uh, just drag it into you're gonna hold it down and you're gonna drag it into just the column there as soon as you drop it in there it'll show up here like folklore did okay so that's the ISOs now the PKG files won't work that way. You have to go over to File. And then in File you go down to Install Package 
uh, wraps and edats and then it's going to look for it on on your desktop so that's why you keep it on your desktop um, and in here you'll find it open it and then it'll add onto this list as well um, and then personally what i do with that is after that i drag it from the desktop and put it in the same file with the other ps3 ones here um, now after that you want to highlight that game go to pads it's your own personal preference but i find with the new update for our pcs3 that it works better with dualshock 3 a real dualshock 3 i get a real ps3 one so i use that and it seems to work out of the gate just fine um i do have one of the 8-bit do controllers the pro 2 and uh, it was giving me problems after the update, but if you can get that working, again, each game, I mean, you could do it all here, but each game, I assign them one by one in the drop down here. Um, it was very simple, just have them all as DualShock 3 as a default. Uh, some of them have, uh, like, Drakengard 3 won't work without a patch, so you have to get a patch, and you have to, just like a pkg file you have to install that um the pkg files are mostly psn games like a lot of the uh a lot of these games that are no longer they're delisted like i got voltron here simpsons arcade um hamster ball marvel vs capcom 2 uh pain um bionic commando rearmed um yeah, basically for PS3, I mean, if you can get the game legit through Steam, I would do that first, like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, um, but and that runs well in Steam. Uh, but again, if uh, if it's not, then this is the alternative, right? So now you know how to how to get them onto here. You know how to change the controller now. Once it's highlighted, you can click on play up here or just double click it and it'll open. The first time it opens, it'll take extra long to download, but it won't after that. Make sure you assign the controller and that your assigned controller is on before you double click the game. That's standard with a lot of emulators already. Um, and as for list of games, uh, again, uh, try Googling it or look on the RPCS3 a compatibility list i can tell you off the bat some of mine here so near gestalt ps3 works fine out of the gate um that's an iso pain was a pkg file there's also an iso for european version but it doesn't matter so caliber 4 has volume issues has has a very glitchy sound and can be very slow so you might want to tweak with some of the settings on that Tales of Graces F works fine. It starts off fast, so you have to, uh, like in fast forward, you pretty much have to uh, change the settings to slow down. Simpsons Arcade is fine. Voltron is fine. That's a PKG file. The Lollipop Chainsaw is fine out of the gate. Um, Dragon's Crown, uh, Google that because it requires a little bit of tweaking. Uh, sure as wrath that's a gold mine to work on that one the only problem is all the dlc and it's i won't tell you where to get the roms but there are dlc roms for that um and uh, folklore also works out of the gate but again make sure you have a controller that you can flick back because one of the one of the uh one of the uh, characters in there one of his moves is just to flick back the controller right um, so that's, uh, hopefully helpful for you guys. Um, and I don't know how it works for keeping it in the emu deck because th these files were pretty big altogether. So I had to throw them on a, a separate, on a separate, uh, folder, right? Uh, so feel free to ask questions in the comments. Hope this helps someone.